daily quick sketch day 42 so for this one i kind of wanted i had this idea of this huge cathedral door that was partially open so you can see like light shining through and in front of the the door you would see a person super small so you can really sell this look of this huge door what i basically did was i made a just a single wall with just a cube i then made a boolean object from that to make this door frame basically put in some booleans to make it a little bit more cathedral if you want to call it that like these these ornamental bevels basically i did i kind of did the same for the door i wanted to detail that some more as well so i put some more decorations on that you can see the process right there i basically used a plane to create a bevel profile i beveled that so it looks more like this you can then convert that plane to a curve and that curve you can use for another curve as a bevel object that's basically the curve I use right there. It has the profile applied to it. I then just form that into these floral or organic shapes, duplicate these forms around just to have, just to fill out the whole door basically. I made a few more variations just to not only fill it with the same one because that would look kind of boring. So this is a very easy way to make these very intricate decorations or floral decorations that you can see on cathedrals sometimes or churches just using a plane to first create the the profile and then applying that or converting that plane to a curve and then using that curve on a second curve as the bevel object will let you create not only these floral objects but also pillars that i'm going to show you or that i did later in in the process right now i'm still forming these very intricate decorations and as you can see right there you can always just duplicate these small pieces and if you see sometimes they're not rotated correctly so if you select all the handles that are not correctly rotated you can press ctrl t to twist them basically so they're rotated correctly however you want them and then i also made this doorknob this very floral like doorknob i basically just use an array modifier i set that to an off object offset and then used an empty that I rotated so the array of this curve will be around this circle basically or it'll create this circle and then I also put in some more detail to the door frame I put that door knob on the door of course and then I converted everything to a mesh joined everything into one object and then used another MT to mirror the door to the other side as well so i have door two doors basically one on the one side and one on the other i then used the same profile for pillars as well i just formed them for this one i used just the um there's this there's the busier curve and then there's the other one the the regular curve that's just straight i use that for the pillars because then you can make these very sharp edges that you can see right there i think it looked really cool maybe i'll use that later in some other like it's a new technique i haven't used before so that's a cool new new thing i've learned and then i just put in some materials the lighting first what i usually do is i make the general layout first and then i implement a lighting like i put lighting into the scene because i think after the general big shapes the lights the second most important thing you should put into the scene to re really see if it like works and then if it actually works you can put in some more detail to to finish the scene so that's what i do right there i add some textures not only to the floor but basically to everything i separated the ornaments or these decorations from the the main door part itself that i made like put a wood texture on on, to, on these ornaments or decorations i put in a metal like worn out texture i not only use a bump texture to sell that worn out uh, feel but also use a roughness map to to create that like to to emulate that some more and then just use a i think it was like sandstone or concrete texture for these pillars made them pretty dark and then i just 
put in a the same texture I had on the ground to the 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 wall. Of course, you can still like detail the the wall some more. That it looks pretty bland, but I like it's quick quick sketch, so it's not not like super super. I I don't want to spend too much time on it. So the the last thing I did, I was just adding a person into the scene, so you can really see the size of the door I wanted to make it like feel super huge so I put the person in the in the in the scene to sell the this this effect of this huge door and then I just filled out like create the created these walls because you you were able to th see through the door and then just to solve that problem I filled the inner part basically as well and that's the whole image hope you hopefully you learned something if you like the video you can like it if you didn't like it dislike and tell me in the comments what you want to see better done next time and maybe i'll see you next time see ya